welcome to Tools in Action. Today we're going over another thermal imager. I love thermal imagers. They allow you to do tons and tons of things, you guys. You can find cat pee, which is <laughs> my number one use of it. Yeah. No, find moisture in walls, check temperatures on panels, find problems before they happen. And you, to save you money too, because you don't have to open up things too. Exactly. You can go through your house, see where the leaks are, where your drafts are coming in. You can pre-diagnose things if you have electric motors, and this electric motor is getting pretty hot. You can get right on the bearing. Is that bearing heating up? Yep. That's an indication that that bearing is going to fail. So you can predetermine that things are going to fail, preventive maintenance, definitely something that's needed in your arsenal. And like Eric said, you don't have to tear things apart. If you're just a single contractor, you know, you have to have one of these tools, whether it be the Milwaukee or any of the other brands, because it's going to save you time. You're just going to go in gonna, there. Yeah, not to interrupt you, but, and to actually show the client too. Like, yeah. hey, here's what's going on. You can show them, here's proof. I'm not just making this up. Here's exactly what's going on. And the cool thing about the Milwaukee is it does come with software where you can create yourself your own report. I'll try to put a screenshot oh, in nice there. too. Yeah, and you could, I believe you could put your own logo on there and stuff and just make it look I'll make a report for Eric how about that that'd be great so it's got that's what the sim cards and you can take that off yes. your computer or sit whatever that yes card you is. can SD. or you can just use the included USB cable and plug it into the computer and go that way uh, it is a full-size sim card and it does come with an 8 gigabyte Kingston which is pretty much more than enough unless you're out on the job just going crazy you know uh, diagnosing things all kinds of stuff um, real fast you guys do you, where's you don't the have to do it really fast. You can just do it right here. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. This well, is protective. It comes with this to help protect I know. It. You know what this reminds me of? This is like the protective boot. But you know what that reminds me of? You know when they have like those hawks? The birds? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of a bird head. It, doesn't it kind of? Yeah, it's it's funny. like, okay, now you go to sleep. Like yeah. it's still alive. Um, you guys, the sensor resolution is 102 by 77. Um, temperature range is 14 degrees to 626 degrees Fahrenheit, and the thermal sensitivity is 0.1 degrees Celsius at 30 degrees Celsius. I have no freaking clue what that means, but I know some of you would be upset if you didn't hear that information mm -hmm. right there. Uh, 2.4 high resolution color screen at 320 by 240. 240 you guys uh does a three color palette it does iron rainbow and gray um and it saves images as ping and dat files and one thing to note too it does not come with this battery it comes with the regular 2 battery 2 the only reason batteries. we put that on there is i feel like it stands better and i like that on there better 10 hours of runtime you guys just on the standard battery that it comes with and a five-year warranty um Going over the tool right off the bat, I like it. It's instant on. It's very fast to turn on, which yes. I like. Because a lot of the times you're wasting time, you're waiting for calibration, you're doing things. It does turn on um, pretty fast. It's got a trigger on it. Basically, the trigger, real simple to operate. It's kind of like a dual trigger. Um, you hold it just a little bit. Just don't pull it all the way, and it's going to produce your lasers. So you're going to be able to see, hey, I'm taking the temperature reading in between these two lasers. And then if you pull it all the way, it goes and it says, do you want to save a picture? So if you do, you could just click it again or use this directional pad to save it. Also, another good idea is it does have an LED light on the front, which is pretty cool. Is it on? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Because a lot of times you're going into dark areas, you're going into panels. Panels are always in dark areas, mm -hmm. dark environments. And I'm going to show you guys my panel because I know I have a, uh, a breaker Bad that's breaker. heated up. Do you have any at your house that are heated? Not that I know of, no. Have you checked it ever? I don't think so. It's only like a two years old or three years old. Well, it doesn't matter how old it is. It's I know, I'm just wired. saying. I, don't, I haven't seen lights flicker. I haven't smelled smoke, so I'm assuming it's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or you can get Until one of these. And, down. Yeah, or you can get one of these and find out your... Uh, your, your situation. Mm -hmm. um, really cool, you guys. Also has two little movable dots that move around for your high and low temperatures, uh, which is pretty cool. Date, format, it's a simple machine. Very simple. That's what I like about it, you know? And the one thing I noticed about this too is it doesn't take long to calibrate. I don't know if you already talked about this, but other ones you use, as soon as you're moving them, I mean, it's really jumpy. This one doesn't seem as jumpy. Yeah, Calibrates no, really it's pretty simple. It's not, you're not going to get, um, you're not going to be able to like see in the dark with this per se, you know, like the, like a flare with MSX, you know, mm -hmm. that will take an image and overlays and does it. And DeWalt has one out too that does the image overlay. This is a true thermal, but it. With the temperature too, right? The what? Temperature? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, the thing about this is, is that it, uh. <laughs> You know, it's going to show you the general area. You're not going to see the surrounding area. You're just going to see, hey, that's a hot spot. Yeah. So you it depends know. what you put it on. Like when we put it against the heater, you can totally tell and easily see that it's a heater. But you throw it up against here, I mean, it's clutter anyways. I can barely see with my naked eye. But it's 
it's hard to actually make that out. So I like when you turn it on. I mean, it's fast on. We're it talking is, within yeah. like two seconds. This thing's turning on. So it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna show you. It's cool. Everybody's like, what? What are we looking at? What are we looking at? It's got your standard M18 uh, or M12, M12 grip, five-year warranty. Mm -hmm. What else do you think about it? it? Man, you pretty much covered it all. I don't know. I like I it. It's, it's, a, it's a nice... We're sponsored for by CNN. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think it runs about 600 bucks. About for 600, 600 bucks. bucks. You if you're a contractor or something like that, or you're trying to diagnose a problem, I think it's definitely worth it. Especially because the idea is that you can give your client a report and you can say, here's exactly the problem, here's exactly what I'm going to do to fix it. And they can see, okay, well, he's not just opening that wall for the heck of it. They can see, well, okay, there really is a problem back there. Right. And if I was to change anything on this or complain about anything, it would just be, I wish this was somehow integrated so you don't lose it. Oh, like a car that flips off yeah, or something. Yeah, or something. Or just this, like the DeWalt has a slide, you slide up and down. I don't know. I kind of like that because it protects the whole head including the front of it yeah that's too. true no that's true and the fat grip i'm not a fan of that fat grip do you does that grip grip feel fat to I you think i'm just so used to the m12 stuff no really? it doesn't yeah to me I mean, it just fun. feels fat really i mean not that it's a problem you're not gonna it's not gonna this is not you don't need any controllability with this tool mm -hmm. it's just point and shoot hey what's going on boom but uh the old tool overall is definitely rugged it's definitely made out of rugged stuff they test yeah. drop it to like uh six feet six foot drop or whatever they do yeah, that's what it said. Six oh, okay. foot job well, rate. Drop it. I don't care. Okay. Well, no, I was just saying. You want to be a tough guy? You're just pulling that out of your. You want to be a tough end. guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> As they come back, all the pieces. Yeah. <laughs> there's a piece. There's a battery. No, it's pretty tough, you guys. Good stuff from Milwaukee. We mm. like seeing this stuff, you guys. Um, they do have another imager. It's uh, quite more expensive. It's got a lot more resolution. But uh, it's nice to see these priced imagers coming. This yeah, is, that one's like twenty five hundred dollars as opposed to five or six hundred bucks. Right, so and it's a big is, difference. This is competing with Dewalt has one, and Fleer has the TG one sixty five and the C two, which probably compares to this. So I think that's what they're kind of going after. And I think uh, Fluky has one. Fluke, fluke, fluky, fluky, fluke, whatever. Fluky. F, F L U K E. I would say fluke, but I, I say Ryobi. Some people say fluke. And it's not Ryobi. It's Ryobi. I know, and I say Ryobi, so don't ask me about fluke. I don't know. You're just a fluke. Yep, pretty much so. <clears throat> All right, you guys, um, do I recommend it? Yes, I think it's a good buy. Do you I give it two thumbs up? Yeah. Sweet. I would give it two thumbs up. I really think that, you know, for the, the guy, you know, if I compared it to the Milwaukee, maybe we'll have a comparison of all three. I, thought, see, I feel like we already cool. did that, I'd like though. Because I'd like to see how the Fleer does, the DeWalt one. I like to overlay the DeWalt one. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll do that. I mean, okay, that's a lot of work. To, we're not doing oh. it now, dude. <laughs> they have work time. Who wants to work right <laughs> yeah. now? Video games are calling. Yeah. Actually, I haven't been playing video games for a long time. At least two hours. No, I'm serious. It's been a couple months. Even Mike Z. A couple months. I was over here like a week ago. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a while, man. It's been in my head. Even Mike Z's like, dude, where you been on Grand Theft Auto? I'm like, dude, this guy, slave driver. New website coming, you guys. We're always giving good stuff away in the forum. If you sign up for the forum, you guys pick the winner amongst yourselves. Yes, and this month we're giving away a, I don't know the model DeWalt, number, but it's a DeWalt DCN 660 uh, finish nailer. or Things, 690. It's a nice nailer, so. That's yes, cool. and we're going to have some stuff after that. We'll probably even have some Milwaukee stuff in there. So I know you guys are big Milwaukee fans. Yep. Good job, Milwaukee. We really like what you did on this imager. Dan and, gives uh, you guys two thumbs up. Dan gives us two thumbs up, and... Uh, if you guys That's have right. any problems or you have a problem with this imager, just see Eric. I'll put his personal email yep. and address right below, at the click bottom. Below, shoot any me an complaints, email, let me know. Go to Eric. Exactly. Tools in action. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.